between the release of the Madness at the Dark Moon Fair and the Forge in the Barrens expansions, we saw the first ever Hearthstone mini set. But if you ever wondered what it'd be like if the expansions before that also had one, you come to the right place. Welcome back to Miniset Miracles, a series where I dive into each older Hearthstone expansion and imagine what their minisets could look like. In today's episode, we'll be looking at all the cards I made for a miniset for Knights of the Frozen Throne. Knights of the Frozen Throne told the story of all the Hearthstone heroes being raised into undeath as powerful death knights. This miniset would delve even further into the realm of undeath, beyond the veil, into the Shadowlands, where we would deal with the true masters of death, the Morsworn. The name of this miniset is... Sanctum of Domination. I've made many new cards for this project, but before we look at those, I'll just very quickly explain my rules for this series. The idea is that this miniset would be released to standard Hearthstone today, with cards for all 11 classes using modern keywords. This would also include the Knights of the Frozen Throne main set being re-released to standard alongside the miniset. Now that's out of the way, let's look at the cards I've made starting with one of the miniset's four legendaries, Remnant of Nasul for Shaman. My suffering will be yours! Nasul is a 5 mana 5 4 undead with Torn and Reborn, and both a battle cry and a death rattle that will transform adjacent minions into random ones that cost 2 more. Because he has Reborn, this effect can trigger up to 3 times, and since he also has Torn, he can be quite the nuisance. Place him between 2 minions and watch as they keep growing. Shaman gets another card that works well alongside Remnant of Nasul. Dominated Necrolord is a 7 mana 6 8 undead with Rush that will cost one less for each mini you transform this game. This card is supported not only by Nasul, but also by Shaman's hero card from the main set. Hearthstone's expansion cycles usually consist of 3 expansions and 3 mini sets, and every third mini set will contain keywords and mechanics of the previous expansions in the cycle. Because this is my third mini set in a cycle, this mini set would also include mechanics from my last two sets. Knights of the Frozen Throne was the expansion that introduced hero cards to Hearthstone, giving each of the nine classes in the game at the time a Death Knight hero card. This mini set would add support to this through a new series of cards that trigger a bonus if your hero changed this game. But if you're having a hard time finding your hero card, you could run the new More Sworn Vanguard. This 3 mana 2 4 neutral minion has taunt and will draw a hero card when played. The Sanctum of Domination mini set would even introduce a brand new hero card, introducing Sylvanas More Sworn. Death bends to my will! Sylvanas is an 8 mana neutral hero card that will take control of two enemy minions when played. You even get to pick the targets yourself. But when one of the minions dies, the other will return to your opponent's side. You always were weak. Sylvanas' hero power is Guile of the Banshee Queen, which actually isn't just a single hero power. You see, Sylvanas' hero power will swap each turn between one of the nine hero powers from Knights of the Frozen Throne. What this means is that the turn you play Sylvanas, you will get one of these hero powers, and then each turn you will get another random one, but without repeating the same one twice in a row. I was originally planning on doing a Demon Hunter and Death Knight hero card, but then I decided against it and made this neutral one instead. But perhaps those could be concepts I explore in a future video. Knights of the Frozen Throne was also the first time we saw the Lifesteal keyword, so this mini set would of course introduce a couple cards that feature the keyword. I even made a payoff to the Lifesteal mechanic, Archlich Kel'Thuzad. Let the onslaught begin! Kel'Thuzad is an 8 mana 6 8 undead, like all other times we've seen him, but this version of Kel'Thuzad will deal 5 damage randomly split amongst all enemies when played. That might not seem like that much at first, but this number can be improved. You see, if you restore 5 health with lifesteal while Kel'Thuzad is in your hand, this battle cry will improve to 10 damage, and restore another 5 and it will be 15 damage and so on. The health restore doesn't have to come all at once, so you can restore, say, 3 health with lifesteal at one point and 2 health at another and Kel'Thuzad will still upgrade. But if you restore more than 5 health at once, any excess would not count towards Kel'Thuzad's next stage. 
Oftentimes mini sets will also have a sort of side mechanic, like the pack spells from the Wispang's Workshop mini set or the Chaotic Tentrals from the Titans mini set. I've also tried adding a similar side mechanic for this mini set. If you play the Hunter Hero card from Knights of the Frozen Throne, you get the hero power build a beast that lets you discover two beasts that cost five or less and combines them into a single minion and adds it to your hand. This new side mechanic is based on that design. You may have already seen a couple of the cards speckled throughout the video, but here are some more. In fact, I may have went a little overboard while designing cards for this side mechanic. The last card I made is the final legendary of the mini set, Painsmith Rasnal for Demon Hunter. Let us see your capacity for pain! Rasnal is a 3 mana 1 6 minion, and after you play your rightmost card while Rasnal is on the battlefield, you will add a copy to the left side of your hand, but the card you play has to cost one or more. If you have only a single card in your hand, Rasnal will let you play it repeatedly as long as you have the mana for it. Well, that's the end of my Sanctum of Domination mini set. Let me know what you thought of the cards, and if you like what you saw, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the mini set miracles series. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.